things fall out of the sky. So we're gonna make some projectiles that are gonna act as obstacles. We're gonna go into our sprite menu down to where we find projectiles. We want the one that says set projectile to projectile from the side with a velocity X of 50 and a velocity Y of 50. Basically, if I translate this into English that says, hey, yo, make me something that can be thrown that's, you know, a projectile uh, from either the top or the side of the screen, uh, make its velocity go left uh, to the right, sorry, 50, and down 50. And that's what this says. So we've got that in there. I need to actually make some sort of projectile. I'm just going to go to the gallery. Let's throw, I don't, we will throw strawberries. There we go. And right now, I'm going to rename it because I always rename my variables because I think that's important. Strawberry. Okay, now I should see a strawberry. There it goes. It's flying across the screen right now. I want to actually adjust where it's coming from. So I'm going to add in the set his velocity. Or excuse me, set his position, set his velocity. Duh. And I want him to come from the middle of the screen. And right now he's still going to go diagonal. There he is, but he's starting diagonal from the middle of the screen. I want him to fall straight down. So I don't want him to move to the right at all. And if I don't want him to move to the right, big fat zero. And now he's just going to fall straight out of the sky. There we go. But he only does it once. That's not helpful. That's an on start loop. What if I want him to do it like over and over and over again? Well, that's an update loop. So I'm going to grab the on game update and I'm going to bring this. Whoops. On here. Let's see if that works. Ba -ba. Hmm, it says that there's an error. I wonder why. Oh, I know, I know. That's because like I've got on start, I'm putting the strawberry at a certain position, but I totally haven't made him yet. I need to put that down here also. All right, let's see what happens. Dude, look at that. And I can change how fast that strawberry comes by changing the amount of time that it takes in between. That's a lot better, I like that. But what if I want him to go to the right? Hmm. I think that I'm gonna have to change my velocity. I'll make it 50 again, but I don't want it there. I want a zero here. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, it's at the top of the screen. Oh, that's so not helpful. I guess I have to change its position also. All right, well, let's have it positioned over here. Now what happens? Dude, that looks so good. I love it. Wait, 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 though. What if I want it like coming across the screen in random spots? I can do that too. That's in the math. I'm gonna grab math and I'm gonna pick a random number for my X because, oh, I'm sorry, for my Y because I want it to still go to the left or to the right. Oh my gosh, I don't know my directions today. But I want it to go from, oh, let's say 10, to 100, because remember our screen is 120 down, I believe. Look at that, it's going in random spots. Nice, I love it. All right, well, that's how you make a projectile go across the screen. Enjoy.